coming of age film. Count me intrigued. Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, my name is Ryan, and today on the channel, I'm going to be reviewing a comedy drama film called Fitting In, which will be premiering in theaters on February the 2nd, and I got an early screener to check this film out and let you guys know if it's worth a watch, and I want to thank Blue Fox Entertainment for sending this screener over to me early to check out. The film is directed by Molly McGlynn, and it stars Emily Hampshire, Did Juliet Amara, and Maggie Zegler, and the film is about a teenage girl who is diagnosed with a reproductive condition in which it really uproots her sex life and really challenges her in relationships. We follow our character named Lindy. She is diagnosed with MRKH syndrome, which basically means that she has an underdeveloped vagina and uterus. And this also means that the uterus can be small or absent. And it also means that the vagina can be shortened as well. So she has this awkward scene with her doctor where he gives her these different toys to kind of stretch it out. She's also really terrified too because she she likes this boy and this boy she really wants to get with and so when she's diagnosed with this condition it really just kind of puts her in a frenzy and she just doesn't really know what to do there are certain scenes where she's with this boy and she thinks that she wants to hang out with him a little bit and kind of do stuff with him but then when she gets to like kissing him or they get kind of intimate she really gets really afraid and she pretty much just blows him off beyond her condition she also has struggles with her mother her mother is a therapist and you can really tell what their relationship it's just not really there altogether definitely are not really getting along at times and then she also has some issues at school with a few different girls she gets on the track team and she has some problems with them she also faces some problems with her best friend as well she also is really just struggling through what she really likes does she like men does she like women and she's going through a lot of things that you would really struggle with as you're a teenage girl going through high school what I can really appreciate about this film is learning about something that I probably would not even have known about if this film actually didn't bring the awareness. I heard that this film kind of is like a life story a little bit of the director. So I definitely was really interested in the fact that learning about something new like this, it's great to have that education. So I definitely applaud the director for doing a movie like this to definitely educate people that may not know about this, especially us men out there. I mean, we don't really know every little thing that a woman goes through. So going through a condition like this, it definitely affects people in the wrong ways at times. And I think at this point in this character's life, Lindy is really struggling in these teenage years. And I feel like teenage years, you're going through a lot of changes, puberty, a lot of different things. And you really see that really explored throughout this film. And while it does have have a lot of sexual nature to it at points it doesn't have like nudity or anything like that but it definitely explores into those more mature themes which I can really appreciate about the film it could be a little bit redundant at times a little bit of a rinse repeat and I felt like as the film kept going on a little bit I felt like the message was there I think but I think towards the end of the film I felt like certain characters they don't really change certain things of their ways and the way that the film actually ends and wraps up, I feel like there is a little bit of a sigh of relief for our character, but I also feel like she still has a lot of challenges, and there's definitely some unsolved things about the film as it comes to a close. Writing for the film felt a little bit flat at times. I definitely think that this director could have used like a co-writer to really help out with the script of the film, because it did feel like it was getting a little bit flat and not exactly the best of script at times. I definitely felt also that we didn't really connect with certain characters, which I think could have been written a little bit better at portions of the film. Dialogue at points was a little bit all over the place, like tones were a little bit jumbled a little bit. It's kind of like a comedy, then it has a drama, then it's a little bit serious as well. It was a little bit all over the place. Acting, for the most part, is pretty good. I mean, there's a few parts here and there I was like, yeah, I don't know about that, or maybe like a line that I was just kind of like, yeah, I don't know about that. It definitely has flavor of like the new generation with like music and just kind of 
going more so for like the teenagers and just like for women in general to not feel alone and you know want to be loved and have all this education and everything else to really go along with it so i think it's an important film i don't think it's all around an excellent film i think it's an okay film and i enjoyed it in certain parts of the film and I definitely enjoyed the fact that this is something that really isn't done so I definitely can applaud them for doing something different so I think overall for this film I would give it a score of a two and a half out of five I think it is worth at least a one-time watch it's not something that I'm just clamoring to really want to hurry up and re-watch but I think overall at least half of the film or most of the film I would say I was in but there were certain things where I can kind of pick apart a little bit and definitely say that it could have used a little bit of touching up and definitely in the writing and dialogue and certain parts of the acting could have been touched up a little bit but overall for me I would say it's definitely worth at least a one-time watch when it hits like streaming or like in-home viewing or even if you just don't have anything else to watch and it's in a limited theater near you I would say it's at least worth a one-time watch what did you guys think about fitting in did you like it did you hate it did you just think it was kind of meh if you haven't heard of it before are you going to check it out does it sound like something that you would check out at some point in the theater or at home leave any and all comments down below thank you guys for watching as always and I will see you guys on my next video.